welcome to Knights of Roleplay, an adventuring podcast. This is an actual play 5th edition Dungeons and Dragons podcast. Royalty free music provided by Kevin MacLeod, Plate Mail Games, and Tabletop Audio. And now, to adventure. Hello and welcome. My name is Chris Buckner, Primary Dungeon Master for Knights of Roleplay and Adventuring Podcast. As our adventure begins, it is Stardate 0109.80. The party has completed two missions for Captain Braun, captain of the ship the Star Runner. He told them that if they completed a variety of missions for him, he would consider making them members of his crew. The party's second mission gave Braun information regarding a piece of a dwarven ship floating in wild space. Braun indicated it would take about half a day round trip to fly the Star Runner to the wreckage as part of a salvage mission. He indicated that time was of the essence and therefore offered to let the party go on the mission. He said if they do a good job helping in the salvage efforts, it may be enough for him to offer them positions on his crew. The party is currently on the Star Runner in the docks district of the Rock of Brawl, a merchant city built on an asteroid. The Star Runner is a galleon ship, a typical sailing ship built by humans, except that it has a magical spell jamming helm that allows it to fly through wild space. Captain Braun assembles the crew on deck for a meeting before the ship and crew set out to find the wreckage of the Dwarven Citadel ship. He explains the mission, then introduces the party to selected members of his crew. So as I, as I read through this, I'm going to give you all um, a handout that'll have a lot of this information on it. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, so... Okay, Captain Braun introduces you um, to Olo, a male turtle the ship's quartermaster, and also the translator for the crew that don't speak common. Next is Dimble, a male gnome who is an alchemist. Wart is a male goblin, the ship's cooper who makes and maintains barrels. Maze is a changeling and the entertainer for the ship. Korth is a male goliath. He is the boatswain in charge of keeping the ship in shape for travel and battle. His assistant, Teak, is a female hadozi. She is a gorilla-like race with membranes that run between her wrists and ankles that allow her to glide like a flying squirrel. She makes ship repairs under Korth's supervision. The cook is an insectoid-like creature called the Thrykreen, whose name is Chaktha. The party is already familiar with Zeed, the female Aarakocra lookout they rescued from the rock slave pens. They also... What's that, John? She wasn't doing a good job looking out before. No, no, she was not. Um... You also know Ruffian, the Warforged Druid that um, helped you to rescue Zed. Lastly, Captain Braun introduces the Navigator and Pilot, a female High Elf named Halina. He points out that everyone simply calls her Hal. She sits at the spell jamming. Somebody got it. Helm. Uh, she sits at the spell jamming helm and channels her arcane magic into it to propel and steer the ship. While at the helm, she can see as if she is at any point on the ship, and when she speaks, anyone on the ship she wishes to hear her can do so as if she were standing right next to them. There are also 20 other crew members of various races who assist in the general operation of the ship. I'm sorry, Bron, but I can't do that. (laughs) Strax is dead, Dave. (laughs) (laughs) Uh... So Captain Braun orders the crew to finish preparing the ship to leave space dock. After doing so, the mooring ropes are removed, and with the gentle hum of the ship's spell jamming helm, the ship backs away from the dock, swinging the bow so it points into deep space. The hum of the spell jamming helm increases as the ship moves away from the rock and begins to pick up speed. As you fly through wild space, the view from the deck of the Star Runner is magnificent. In the deep reaches of wild space, you can see countless stars and nebulous clouds of blue and green. Ooh, pretty good. <laughs> Along your journey, you see an occasional planet. You pass by a huge asteroid belt, and you see a dragonfly ship named for its resemblance to the insect of the same name. <laughs> space travel is beautiful and peaceful, and as you take in the view, you think that this is surely part of the reason that you desire to be a member of a crew of a spell jamming ship. After a four-hour journey through wild space, 
the Star Runner arrives at the proper coordinates, but there is no wreckage of a dwarven ship. Captain Braun yells up to the crow's nest to Zed, his Aarakocra lookout. She takes out a spyglass and scans the stars. After a few minutes, she begins squawking and pointing towards something in wild space. At first, it appears that nothing is there. But then a tiny reflection flashes in the distance, only for a moment. Then another reflection, then another. The flashes are coming from a black mass some distance from the ship. It would be impossible to see against the blackness of wild space if not for the occasional reflections of starlight off some of the smooth areas of its surface. Captain Braun orders Hal to move the Star Runner slowly toward the object. As the Star Runner slowly approaches, it gets larger and larger. After 10 minutes, the object um, it becomes obvious that the object is a small asteroid made up of a black, rocky substance, with some surfaces smooth enough to reflect starlight. After another five minutes, the Star Runner is within 300 feet of the asteroid, which is roughly twice the size of the Star Runner. Is it dark matter? It could be. <laughs> Pieces of a Dwarven Citadel ship can be seen sticking out of the asteroid's rocky surface. It may very well be that the asteroid grew around the Citadel after centuries of floating in wild space. Rather than discovering a piece of a Dwarven Citadel floating in space, it appears that the entire Citadel ship is intact, but is largely engulfed in the asteroid's dark black surface. Captain Braun tells Hal to get the Star Runner as close as possible to the asteroid without crossing air envelopes. The air quality of the asteroid, or more accurately, the Dwarven Citadel, would most certainly be deadly after such a long time drifting in wild space. If the Citadel's air envelope were to mix with the Star Runner's air envelope, the air around the Star Runner would be deadly to breathe. Hmm. Captain Braun has Hal stop the Star Runner 200 feet from the Dwarven Citadel. He approaches the party and says, I'd like to um, send your group over to the asteroid to uh, explore that one large section of the Citadel that's sticking out there. Uh, We have four lifeboats, each of which has a rocket from a rocket boot retrofitted to it for propulsion. I'd like your group to uh, take a lifeboat over and explore the wreckage. You'll each need a personal atmosphere. If you find treasure, we'll uh, split it evenly among the crew and you'll get a share. Are you up for the task? Should I be concerned about our uh, portable atmospheres mixing with any air on that boat as well, on that place as well? The purpose of the atmosphere is to give you breathable air once you hit air that is not breathable. Okay. So it it. won't mix the same way that the ships would with the asteroid. Correct. Okay. Well, in that case... We're we're up to it. (laughs) I think yes. Okay. Um... Captain Braun takes a finely carved metal brooch uh, out of his belt pouch and holds it out, saying, "Uh, One of you should wear this communicator brooch. It is connected to Hal. If you press the carved sigil in the center of the brooch, it will glow until pressed again. While glowing, it allows um, two-way communication between the wearer and Hal. She can relay information to me and then back to the wearer. So he's just kind of holding it out in his hand. That's kind of clever. You want I'll to take it, Strax? I'll take it. Okay. I'll go- take my leisure to examine that later. <laughs> sure. Because that looks clever. <laughs> All right, so Strax takes, takes the communicator. Um, so they basically prepare the lifeboat and they... Mm-hmm. They're all into space. Wait, wait for you to get in it. Um, so, uh, you all get into the lifeboat, which is floating along the Star Runner's, uh, gravity plane. Mm-hmm. Um, there is a rudder on the stern that has a small, that has the rocket affixed to it, uh, and a bu- and a button to activate and deactivate the rocket. Uh, so, um, who's going to be, like, steering the lifeboat? Um, I guess I can. That's, okay. Uh, yeah. Unless you want to, uh, I can probably like fix it if you break thing, it, but I don't think I need to do it. <laughs> <All right>. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll do it. Okay. 
Uh, okay, so with the rocket activated, the lifeboat moves away from the Star Runner along its gravity plane at a speed of about 15 miles per hour. As the lifeboat leaves the air envelope of the Star Runner, you feel a slight shift in gravity as you are now only subjected to the gravity plane of the lifeboat, as well as the air envelope of the lifeboat. As you approach the large section of the Dwarven Citadel ship, your lifeboat looks truly tiny compared to this one large section of the derelict ship, which by coincidence is along the gravity plane of the asteroid. As you pass through the Dwarven Citadel's air envelope, the air quality of the lifeboat momentarily becomes deadly, but your personal atmospheres, sensing air that is not fresh, activate, giving you your own air envelope containing 24 hours of fresh air. The lifeboat is approaching within 50 feet of the large section of the Dwarven Citadel ship. How would you like to proceed? Hmm. So, are we approaching any particular structures, like outcroppings that we can disembark on, or Um, Or entrances? Make a perception check. Mm -hmm. I help you. (laughs) Twenty. Twenty. Okay. So, you see, um, where is it? Um, you can see a door on, on basically on, on the wall of one section that you can pilot the lifeboat over to. Well, looks like we might be able to get in right over there. I mean, there are some windows and other things too, but basically the only way you can see to get in um, is a door that's on the side there. So. Yeah, but windows are hard. <laughs> Doors are easy. Okay. So there's no power on it at all? It's dark completely? Well, it's not like... I mean, ship, ships would have light from starlight, and below decks they might have things like continual flames or things like that. I mean, depending on the race and, and the construction, they, they may have lanterns. Um, they may have, you know, the light spell cast on things. They may have continual flame or ever-burning flame or something. I forget what the spell is cast on things. Um, but no, you don't see any particular light source coming from it from the side of it. Well, I have light. So. Yeah, I me mean too. And we have torches all of us, although would we know if torches kind of exhaust an atmosphere more quickly? Does that have an impact or not really? Well, I mean, it does need oxygen to burn um, but essentially what that would just mean is that it would take away from your own personal air envelope quicker um, but not something that would be like you light it and then you know, five yeah, minutes I later you're suffocating. suffocating. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. Okay. All right, but yeah, she and I have light, so we'll do that at least initially. Okay. All right. Well, um, so you so you pilot so Strax pilots the she pilots. Oh, sorry. Um, I pilot. Arvine pilots the boat mm-hmm. up to the door, mm-hmm. and you can see there's like a there's like a handle on the outside of the door. I'll examine the door. Mm-hmm. Sure. Uh, you want to examine it? Yeah, just give a quick examination. Yeah, well. I'm not too concerned about traps under the circumstances, but, you know, check for, you know, something that might be otherwise dangerous about the door and see if the door is locked, if it's easy, how easy it is to open. Okay, um, so make an investigation check in that case. One investigation check. Let me to help you? Um, well, was, well, you're piloting, uh, but uh, I was wondering if I got to use uh, tool proficiency for this. Say again? Got to use a tool proficiency for this. For investigation? Um, to check out the door, like uh, the uh, thieves' tools or the carpenters' tools. Um, I mean, if we've pulled up to the Sure. If we've pulled up to the door, I can help you. We're not pilot- like, Is there a way to, like, tie off the ship so that it doesn't just drift away? Yeah, there's there, there's a handle by the door, and oh. there's a rope in the lifeboat, yeah. okay. which you can tie to the so handle. So I tie it off, and then I come over to help him investigate oh. the door. All right. Well, you can roll the advantage. Uh, 17 plus my proficiency. Which I think is currently just a 2. Yeah, 17, 19. Uh, plus my investigation. 23. 23. Okay. Um, it's obvious that it's it's in, in disrepair. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, you don't know how long the, this has been drifting in space. That, I mean, the ship, I mean. But um, it looks like a very mundane door that okay. that's seen uh, a great deal of age. <laughs> okay, so, so so busting it open is not going to be a yeah, It's actually right? slightly ajar. It's it's very slightly oh, ajar. Okay, if it's uh, that's a non issue. Yeah. All right. Okay. Oh. Well, How do you said it was a door? It is a door. But you said it's a jar. It is a jar. 
<laughs> wah, wah. <laughs> Don't she love us? Of course. Uh, <laughs> Jenny's going to die. <laughs> Rain in a jar! <laughs> All right, I guess we well, should cautiously... If this if this door is any indication of anything, I don't think there's yeah. much left alive in here. But yeah. just watch your step for yeah. bad footing. How often do you think we should check in and like let them know that we found a way in or anything like that? We're going in. <laughs> I mean, do you have the you, you have, you, you have the communicator? So, but Navy Kate is telling you that these kinds of things you probably check in. Periodically. Oh, yeah. With the commanding like, officer. Like, <laughs> Check in with your CEO. Get, uh, maintain a running dialogue. Uh, so. Maintain a status of anything significant that you do, like finding an entrance. We're going, going over, in. over. Yeah. <laughs> roger, roger. So, Go along with Roger. So you're going to tell Hal? Uh, <laughs> all right. Or I'll take it from you when I was. <laughs> no, I like this thing. You know, I figured cool. you'd think it's cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, all right. The artificial likes artifice. Go figure. Yeah. <laughs> all right. If, if you think that's what we need to do, yeah, I, I know about these things. Hey, Al. Well, we found a door, so I guess we're going in. Very good, Strax. Okay. Okay. I told her. Thank now, you. Let's go. <laughs> all right. Happy? So, mm-hmm. so you open the door, right. um, and I mean, some of the, some some of the starlight does kind of fill in. Um, into what you see is a hallway in front of you, but but it's still fairly dark in there. Um, I cast light on the tip of my nose. On the tip of your nose? Okay, so there's a big shadow of Strax. Oh, yeah. in the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> I cast light on like a oh, piece that fear, holds my man. Again. I don't know. <laughs> well, well, I mean, who, who's, who's in the lead? I'm assuming probably somebody with a light source will probably be in the lead. Um, yeah, we should I probably can, decide I on can. marching order. That's... Fine. Uh, so the hallway that you're seeing, it's it's ten feet by ten feet. Okay, okay so ten feet. I mean, you, you don't know how far down it goes, but but it's yeah. it's ten feet wide and ten feet tall. Are we just right. sandboxing this? For uh, now? Nope, you are not. Oh. Hold on a second while I reveal some of this map here. <gasps> Careful. He's had this. He had this map fire. all covered on the table here. So. Cookies. Cookies. Okay. Okay. Okay, we have an entrance way revealed. All right, figure. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Did you twitch? Yeah, <laughs> big time. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Uh, I, I think we'll let them go first. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Cape is always in my face. Yeah. <laughs> She's a cool mini. <laughs> okay, so you step inside the Citadel ship, inside this uh, 10 by 10 hallway. <laughs> so, uh, what again is the light source? Who, I'm sorry, who's up in front there? That is Arvine. Yeah, Arvine right? Ar- and yep. Matisse are up front. Okay. Um, so I have. Um, Instruction Jane are in back. Okay. Yep. So, yep, Arvine has one light source, yeah, and I'll, Janie I'll has... Cast, no, do you want them both in the front, or because I could cast light on, like, your sword or whatever you're carrying? Um, I have a uh, shield. Probably in the front and back is a good idea. Okay. Sure. Yeah, so so can... I will cast light on the tip of my nose. Okay. Uh, so you have the light <laughs> in the back. you will see over the light glaring in your face? Does it matter? <laughs> probably not. <laughs> I'll point you shoot. <laughs> so Janie, our Kalashtar sorcerer, has light cast in the back, and Arvine, our Asmar fighter, also has light cast somewhere up in the front there? Mm-hmm. Okay. Who among us has dark vision, just in case we lose the light? Uh, if, you're, if, you're, if you're asking how well I can see in the dark, mm-hmm. uh, that's a good question. So I'm pretty sure I do. Well said. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, yeah, I, I can see. I can see pretty well without much light. Yep. So mm. so can I. How well okay. do you see in the dark? I forget. Matisse, look at features and traits. Mm-hmm. 
probably be under racial traits if you have it. Yeah, just pretty much all the way down to the bottom. Sounds like whale songs. <laughs> it kind of does. <laughs> That's cool. How do you get? <laughs> I don't have any of that stuff. Okay. Chris is like, who gave her coffee? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> me! I gave me coffee! Two giant cups of it! Whoa! Two. Two. Whoa. Two. Yep. Two giant Whoa. cups of coffee at Charles. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> and some hot dogs. And some chicken quesadilla soup. Mmm. Okay, so you guys are making your way in the hallway. Sorry. Should I just ditch the book? Yeah. Yeah. Can I ditch this book? Yes, you can. Okay. Promise not to suddenly grab all the covering papers and throw them all over the place. I don't. Right. Chaos Factor! Chaos Factor! Tides of chaos! Things we don't see. La 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 la. Okay. That doesn't have to be perfect. It's fine. Uh, okay, so that's. So basically, you are continuing so forward. So there is a. Um, uh, is that a. Is there another door? Yes, there's a door right in front of you there. Okay. Is it closed? Open? Uh, it is closed, but okay. there seems to be um, uh, basically a handle in the middle. It's, it's, it's a double door. It looks like it just opens um, okay. away from you. Opens Do inward. Do you hear anything like sounds in the ship at all? Make a perception check. Whale sounds, apparently. <laughs> I did not make He any. did not perceptify. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, that, that was a one for the listeners. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I say, Matisse, can you help me just check out this door like we checked the last one? And I'll make a perception check on it if that's okay. Uh, are you are, are you investigating or, or um, just just are you just looking or are you actually going up and? I'm going up and looking to see if anything's amiss before we try to open it. Okay. If anything so looks so out if of you're it. looking, then perception yeah. check. Okay, yeah, that's a... nice glasses. Thanks. Right. Some hot girl those too, didn't she? Mm-hmm. Oh, I see. And by hot, I mean like overheated. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. So. Um... 21. 21. There doesn't seem to be anything particularly interesting about the door. Okay. Open it. All right, so I opened the door. Okay. We're opening the door. Get on the floor. Everybody walk the dinosaur. Okay, uh, let's see. Did anybody's passive perception change? I have, um, let's see, Janie, you are 13. Matisse is 13. And Strax is 11. And Correct. Arvine is 14? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, actually, your hit points changed. I'm going I'm to hand you guys this little sheet here so you can... So we can write your butt on it again? Write your hit points down on there. I don't think mine kept my hit points. <laughs> okay. You open the door. Get on the floor. <laughs> All right, so as, as the door opens, the light from the multiple magical sources that you have um, floods into the hallway and you see more of the same. It does do a little bit of a jig jog like you can see on the map there. Mm-hmm. It goes forward, takes a little bit left and then goes straight again and a little bit right and then goes straight. Mm-hmm. Say, and there, there is a door on the left-hand side there. I say yeah, standard search pattern. Stay, just always keep making right turns. Stay to the right, so stay in this hallway for now. Yep. I agree. I'm going to take a moment here to hand out these two people. This is for Greg. Well, you had your original, and you had then you have to add. This is for John. There's Kate. So on your rolled HP, you had ten to start, right? Or twelve? Yes. So it's twelve plus six, so you now have rolled eighteen total. Put it in rolled HP. Oh, okay. Mm. Nice. 
There you go. Well, I'll go back to your character sheet. So I just gave everybody a... Uh, that's a decent sized um, crew. Some 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 specs on the ship and the crew, as well as a deck plan for the Star Runner. Catapult. You couldn't put in a trebuchet. That's what it came with. <laughs> you can make us one. Are I'll you have, making fun of our anywhere. new ship already? <laughs> <laughs> no, just upgrades. Chris Barkin doesn't know the difference, but I'm assuming a trebuchet is much bigger. Yes. And probably wouldn't, fit, probably wouldn't fit on the back the of the deck. You've just alienated in. half of our listeners. You realize that now. Because <laughs> I'm not an expert in That's medieval siege going. warfare. Half our listeners <laughs> oh, oh. That's, why, that's why we're not going to get anywhere. We love you guys. <laughs> Nobody's pumpkin chunking. I love pumpkin chunking. Pumping. I'll explain the difference later and the superiority of trebuchets. All right, so there's a door to the left, and there's a door further down. <laughs> We're going to go more to the right towards the one further down. I'm just going to kind of right. hold the stay to the right search pattern for now. Okay. Mm-hmm. I gotcha, I gotcha. I don't want to stay to the right. I want to go left. Right. We'll get there eventually. Whee! Miss Hughes, help me check out the store again. <laughs> okay. Can I'm going to perceptify, <laughs> gonna perceptify <laughs> the right. door. She's gone. Go ahead. Perceptify the door. <laughs> it. Um... Can you see something shiny? Fifteen. Marginally higher than my passive. Fifteen. Again, nothing really stands out about the door. Okay. Uh, I open the door. (laughs) Open the door. And once again, the light floods into the hallway. Are there any other light sources inside, or is everything extinguished? Uh, For the listeners, I've got this map covered with a bunch of papers, so we're slowly revealing the map as we go. Excuse me again. Oh, that's actually a whole room. Oh, looks like we found right the galley. Or the wardrobe. Know that yet. It, it's, it's got tables and chairs and... Okay, papers. so... Oh I can't see what that is done this way. So as you come into this area... As you come into this area... Um... Janie. Yes. You see, as you as you step into this room, you see dozens of dead bodies laying on the ground. You um, see dead people. After a moment, you realize that they are bodies of villagers that died in the explosion that drove you in Strax from your home village. And the bodies suddenly sit up and point at you, but say nothing. Anybody else? Do I see it? No. Nobody else. Nobody else sees it. Nobody else sees it. Janie, what's wrong? Janie, what's going on? No. No. Janie. No. Janie. No. Janie. No. Look at me. No. Look at me. What do you see? Janie. Just, just tell him if you. Did you say that out loud? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. It's not the first time. Why is this one bothering you? It's the first death. Mm. Interesting. They've come back for me. Mm. I'm a bad girl. This, you're not a bad girl, Janie, but this is not the place I would expect. Sorry, my contact lens is. <laughs> I'm wondering. I'm actually crying. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's that's right. Right. My contact lens is freaking out. You're like really getting into character. That's totally it's cool. It's really awesome. It's totally <laughs> really awesome. So Matisse and I are standing there stay, kinda stay here for a moment. Just looking. Um She kind of curls up on her knees. Like she crouches down and hu- starts hugging her knees and rocking. Okay, so so you divert your gaze at some point during that, I would assume. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um well, he asked me to look at him, so... Yes, okay. So, so as, you, as you're crouched down in that position, you're kind of rocking, like, um, you probably have your eyes closed, I would think, at least for some, yeah. for, for, for some part of that. Um, but at some point, you kind of get the courage to take another peek, just to see if they're still staring at you, and they're not there. That's 
still huddled in a ball. Yeah. Yeah. But you I'm look kinda, up and, and, she's right behind and, me, right? And then out there. Sorry. Yeah, I'm right behind you. I'm gonna kind of like crouch down and kind of like put an arm around you. And you know, like, I don't know where they went, but they're here. Who is here? I yeah. keep keep an eye out for things for a minute, for a few minutes. This is unusual. Okay. Um, I'm going to ritual cast detect magic. Okay. Um, where does the where does it take? Ten minutes. Um, yeah, ritual cast okay. takes ten minutes. Ten um, minutes plus whatever the normal. yeah, and then it lasts for ten minutes. Okay. Um, Very so, slow range. So so you you use some of your artificer tools and you mm-hmm. and you do the ceremony. I do a little. Yeah, just kind of take out my tinker's tools a little bit, kind of fiddle with a little eyeglass He's tinkering. type thing. Here okay. Tinker tinker. Kind of. Okay. Hold that up to my eye and look okay. around a little bit. Okay. What's the range? Thirty feet. Thirty feet. Okay. How long does it last? Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Okay. So, so currently, you do not detect the presence of any right. magical items. I am going to go ahead and actually in- investigate the room with it. Then. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you kind of so you move forward mm-hmm. and you sort of scan through around that room and you don't detect anything. Nothing. No. Mm-hmm. I kind of hold hold Janie's shoulder and say, "Do you want me to help him look around and see if I can find anything here? Or do you want me to stay here with you?" No, no, stay. you shouldn't. You no, Bill, Bill, Bill. Stay. Just stay there for a minute. Okay, I'll stay. So, I'm not. I'm not seeing anything inter- uh, unusual about the room. Its room looks pretty ordinary to me, but. Maybe it's just the atmosphere. Maybe it's just the setting here. It's got you a little bit on edge, Janie. It's all right. It'll be all right. As soon as we, we'll just get in here. We'll just map the place out, and then we'll then we'll head on back and report to the captain. You can see but, um, on some of the surfaces as you've been coming through the hallway and in this room, you can see some of the some of the black surface of the meteorite. Mm. Um, kind of coming through like some ducks and things like that and um, you're not sure but you think that there there's a there's a small concentration of it in the corner of the room and you think maybe there might be like a bulkhead that goes down below and that doesn't ref- react magically no. as magical no natural hmm. no but but I mean the meteor the, the the asteroid it's grown in such a weird way that it's blocking off large sections of the ship so, it, so okay so it actually it is obvious now that it looks like the meteorite has grown into the ship rather than the ship having crashed into the meteorite. Correct. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. It, de- it definitely appears from being inside here and seeing the little bits of uh, of the of the surfaces, the black surfaces cropping up mm. here and there, on the walls and in the vents and things. And and again, I mean, you know, the ship is much bigger than this, but so far, um, the only other entrance that you've seen that goes anywhere, other than that one door that uh, was on the left. There is a bulkhead in here that goes down, but it's covered by the meteor, right. by the asteroid surface. It's grown over it, so you can't get through it. All right. So I, I missed some of what you said, but basically some of the accesses in this room that he's exploring are blocked by the growth of the meteor. There, there only appears to be yeah. one way to go anywhere else. Anywhere else. Uh, I mean, I mean, there is a okay. door at the end of this room, and there was a door in the hallway that you came down. Okay, but... But there, there is a third door in here on the floor it looks like it looks like a, um, a bulkhead that goes down yep. Yep. and it's covered by the it's yeah a it's a hatch and yep. it's covered by the asteroid material okay mm-hmm. okay uh, well, yes there's the door at the end of this room and the door in the hallway you just came from well given the way that the uh this whatever this black substance this black meteorite whatever it is is kind of starting to take over the ship if we're going to find anything salvageable it's probably not going to be towards the front that's nice that's fully covered let well, say we work our way to back towards the back of the ship. You want to go through the door that's over there across the room and just kind of work around, or mm. I mean, that's staying to the right. It you is you staying said to the you right. wanted to do that, so it's it's up to you. Uh. Mm. I kind of look to Janie and go, "Would you feel more comfortable if we go back to the other door in the hall for now?" Anywhere but here. Then, all right, let's just go through this closed door here. Is, are there two doors? There's a door there. There's a door there. Map says there's a door okay, here. Okay, you told me there was one, but yeah, okay, there is another one. Okay. It goes down. 
Uh, yeah, this, but we can't get to that yeah, one. This is the door we can't get off. to. Yeah. Okay. No, no, no. It's you no. Know, it's, it's a hatch in the floor. That 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 one you can get into. Okay. Sorry. So there's door, I, door. Yeah. The, the map door. is so far away from. Oh, and there's I'm a door. Having a hard there. time seeing okay. all the doors. Okay. Yeah. So Understood. maybe we do keep going to the right. You want to just go to that one? That's right across the room. Well, that's up towards the meteor, right? Where Janie runs for the much. door. Which one? For the that far one. one. This one. That one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll follow. Oh, don't be so rash, girl. Here. You you can uncover that. I'm gonna rush over and say, okay, let. You help me check the store to see if it's safe. All right, thank you. Uh, that my passive is higher because <laughs> I rolled a two and a three. <laughs> I'm not much help. I'm kind of hysterical right now. I, I am distracted. Yeah, I mean, uh, Mat- you're distracted by worry. Arvine is kind of exchanging really heavy looks with Matisse because this whole concept of somebody seeing something or having visions is eerily familiar, although a little bit different. So, yeah. So the door, the door seems to be an ordinary door. Okay. okay. All right. Um, I I'll open the door. You, you, you want to open, open the doors? Okay. okay. I, I'm really ready. She to get wants out of the room. room. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. So I guess it looks like the two of us. Okay. So <laughs> first, sure. uh, I mean, you... Matisse, are you coming along? Oh, I thought it was. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we just didn't move your mini, and you were. We don't want to make assumptions for you. <laughs> it makes an ass yeah. out of Umi. <laughs> Who's Umi? Azumi. <laughs> Azumi. Okay. So essentially, you see uh, a forward observation deck up there. Hmm. Okay. Uh, what does the observation deck contain? Anything like? Uh, it's got some big windows in it. Just okay. Uh-huh. So just mostly big windows. This, any of this, anything actual? Can anything be seen because of the growth? Um, there's a little bit of it in here. There's 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 some of it on the window. Um, but that, it doesn't obscure the whole entire. No. Looking at. Nope. It. Nope. So if we look out the windows, what do we see? Space. Space. Okay. The space. final frontier. The final frontier. Yeah. Okay. I mean space. <laughs> space. 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 Um, Greg Matisse hears a laugh it's something it's something that you recognize did you just hear that what What did you hear I didn't hear anything uh, I heard a laugh of some kind I'm, I'm not sure but Sounds very, very familiar to me. It gives you it gives you a feeling of dread. You're not sure why. You're trying so hard to place it, but it makes you feel very uncomfortable. It sounds familiar to you in a way that is not good. Janie comes into your head and, and uh, says, "Are you being haunted by images of your past too?" Yes. Well, you haven't seen any images yet, Greg. You, well, the you voice did... registers with me, so I just yes. tell her that. Yes. 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 It's something that I feel really concerned about. I don't like this place. Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't know if I want to take you on any more salvage missions. Oh, well, do we see any... I, I mean, I take a quick look around with Strax just to see if there's anything of value or interest in the room. But we probably don't want to stay here, given now it's making Matisse feel uncomfortable. Uh, you, there, there is a crate in there, uh, okay. and it seems to have um, treasure in it. Okay. okay. I will investigate the crate. Yeah, I'll help you. Okay. Uh, well, I kind of sucked at that, but that's okay. Nine. Yeah. That's okay. I mean, it has a lid on it, which is um, basically no, it's it's not sitting on there the way it's supposed to. It's kind of cockeyed. Okay. Okay. So and and, and from from the light that you have, light over. Okay. I'm you can, it. You can see you can see basically there, there's there's gold pieces and gems. Okay. <laughs> Well, we've, we've been instructed to salvage, right? We have been instructed to salvage. Okay. Did, did I hear you mention something about having an improved storage situation for no, us? No, I didn't say anything about you, that. You didn't say anything. Okay, no. I didn't know if that was in character or not. But last I'm going to put, put it in the improved storage. <laughs> so we see you open this. So, yeah, so, yeah I just, you just see me open a little a satchel at, the, at that side and, sit, and and just start shoveling all the stuff in. Would the rest okay. of us know enough to understand what a bag of holding is? To um, how, how big is the bag of holding, John? It's a standard bag of holding, 500 pounds. <laughs> right, but I mean, I think it's... It's like 10 feet by 10 feet or something, right? Well, no, 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 no. You think it, it's... Um, the, there's a portable hole and there's a bag of holding. Oh, yeah. okay. The portable yeah, hole, right. you yep. fold it out on the floor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you, you have a bag of holding, right? Yeah. Um, I, yes, it is. It's... It simulates a bag of holding, and it has a bag, of, uh, all right. stats of a bag of holding. So you know, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a laptop 
you right. know, size kind but of a bag thing. Inner space. Kind of like a small satchel. Right, right. It's, it's a small big, satchel. Right? And, and it's bigger on the inside, yes. It, based on the amount that he puts in there, um, you don't see it, like, change size. I mean, you, you don't think it's it's an unreasonable amount to hold in there, but you'd be able to see the shape of the satchel right. change with the amount of volume. So I kind of look at that and go, that, that's a cool trick. Yeah, it's a good bag. Made it myself. How much can you store in that thing? I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet. Huh. Okay, All right, so, so we... we... It's, it's right around this time. Okay. You guys start to hear, like, like a skittering noise. Oh, boy. And, it, and you're not quite sure where it's coming from because, like... Things are echoing in the ship. Okay. Uh, so everybody make a perception roll for me, please. Okay. Do I still hear the voice? Oh, not, not, not. You, you heard the laugh, and, and it hasn't, you haven't heard it since. Okay. All right. Fifteen. Fifteen. Uh, eight, so base eight. eleven. Wait, okay, base eleven. Seventeen. Seventeen. Nice. Perception, you said? Yes, please. But if I, but if I heard anything living... Nine, yeah, I'm, I'm drawing one of my Wakazashis right away. Okay. And so I also took a few minutes to it's, uh, improve on the gun. Oh, it's echoing throughout the entire off. ship, but yeah. um, but Janie, our Clash our Sorcerer, you think it's coming from the ceiling. I look up. Yeah. It's up there. Okay, in that in that room, in the room that you just came out of, um, mm-hmm. suddenly you, uh, the the ceiling starts to break apart in these and these, like, silver metallic-looking creatures come falling down oh, from no. the ceiling in that room. They're Uh-oh. here. <laughs> and, and they all see you. And they seem to take an aggressive stance and start to move towards you, so let's all roll initiative. Okay. Defensive stance. They're in that other room? Um, they're they're in, the, in the bigger room that you just came out okay, of. Okay, so we could the close the door, potentially. Could potentially close the door if we're fast oh, enough. Sh- yeah. Really? I am not fast enough. All right, that'll do. Can I have a s'moresy one? Okay. They're okay. Mm. The the graham cracker is cookie really... isn't isn't a great texture. This I can put over here. Are you insulting Girl Scout cookies? No. The lemon ones. They actually did a lot of food and the Girl Scout cookies. Okay. Yeah, I've been watching it. Okay. Need my encounter. Where is my encounter? Mm. Kind of as I'm drawing my sword, kind of lean back to Matisse and say, "Is this anything that you've encountered before?" It's not anything directly that I've encountered, but I did hear something that that really disturbs me, and I just right. don't. Okay. It's very familiar. Yeah. I'm just not sure what's going yeah. on. Initiative, Janie. Four. <laughs> you. Even I'm not much better. Give you ability to figure things out about initiative, that. Matisse. Look at your Fourteen. Strax. Five. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Distracted by the shinies. Yep. Distracted by his sister. Yeah. <laughs> Arvine. Twenty. <laughs> Just dead weight, man. <laughs> Okay. I couldn't roll the good. And initiative for my dudes. Well, we're still young. I know. Uh, is using the communicator going to be considered a use an act, use an item action? Yes. Okay. Well, we probably yeah, do want know. to let them know. Yeah, I don't know if on. you had time to do it kind before of, we start. Kind of middle something at the moment, though. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, a little busy. It's so easy moment. to do. We could just say it's a bonus action. Okay. Maybe they can tell us how many there are. Do you take are. her? Do you take him? <laughs> You're married. Kiss. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Love setting that. up the initiative board. That's a good scene. We're on a ship. Kind of. We are it's on a ship. a little weird. Bizarro ship. It's a cool shirt. The metal accents. It's pretty. Tactile thing, right? Yeah. Oh, I don't need a necklace because it's got it built in. Yeah. <laughs> I had to have my, my lady in Bedford make it so I had nails again today so I can hopefully oh, fix my other ones. Yeah, it was 
all different colors I have, so it's like, ee, fun. Okay. I just chopped all my nails off because oh. I ruined them. Please. So initiative order is Arvine, Matisse, the Creatures, Strax, and Janie. Woo! <laughs> Janie, pulling up the rear. <laughs> I'm gonna wait. That's not That's bad. Not give bad. Me, give the, the, the lay of the in. land because I, I want to have a feel for whether I think closing the door is going to help. Um, you think that, as I said, the doors are sort of old and disrepair. You don't think it would take them long to get through the door, but you could close it. Oh, that could give us I a mean, couple of minutes or two. Do the doors you know? slide side to side? Are they like pocket doors? No. No. They they open inward toward that toward that room. Inward toward that room. Yep. Okay. So we would probably run risk of getting trapped. I mean, if the the door doesn't open out, it opens towards us. It opens towards mm-hmm. you, correct? I mean, if it's a s- doors open inward. Can I swing the door so that it um, basically narrows the opening to five feet, so they can only come in through like a five foot area? Like if I swing it halfway closed or something. You'd probably have to find some way to brace it. So, yeah, without yeah. bracing the door, you don't okay. think it's going to do much. Do I see anything that could brace it in the room? Um. Maybe the crate that was just full of treasure, but other than that, no. Okay. All right. So then on... Is there a chair in the room? Just <laughs> just block it with your body. That's what you're there for, right? That took you a minute. All right. and, well, I, you were making a critical re- critical role reference, which which did surprise me. <laughs> <laughs> a chair? Good for nice. you. <laughs> Love you. That actually came up role. last night when we watched it. Uh, so... I guess I will step in kind of right. Eh, this is probably a good position to be in. I'm going to stand right there, and I'll draw the second wakazashi and basically ready for them to come to me with one wakazashi to attack. So the first one that comes in reach, I'm going to attack it with a wakazashi. All right, let me actually get the minis and put them out there on the map. That's good. Thank you. (laughs) What? (laughs) We actually get to see what we're fighting? Crazy pants. Greg, you like the wine? Hmm? You like the wine? It's It's pretty good. They're shiny. I gave you the astronaut. You are out of this world. Out of this world. Really? Don't put your pee-pee on the mic. Um, Someone should take a picture of this, really. (laughs) Sarah, take a picture. Is the ship made out of wood? It is. It is. Okay. Well, actually, are there wood chucks on the ship? <laughs> <clears throat> it's, oh, a, it's a combination of wood and metal. Okay, so fire might not be the best thing right now. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you taking a picture of me? I, yes. Why? <laughs> Take a picture. You're taking a picture of me. <laughs> How to come out? Do you don't that. need pictures of me. Especially with my channel. We need pictures of everybody. I take pictures of people taking... That end of the map is so far away. I troll. (laughs) Whose fault's that? (laughs) Uh, All right, so... So, Arvine, our Asimar fighter, has readied. Yep, I'm basically going to let them start to funnel themselves. Yep. And then it is uh, Matisse, our diva paladin. Diva! I will also ready my action um, when someone comes within my reach. To what, what? What are you using? I have You're, a laser pistol. You think that um, is bad? Well, you you have the range to shoot them right now. Oh, okay. But if you want to be ready with your laser sword, that's different. That's. I'll try the the pistol now. You gonna use the pistol? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna take a shot at the um, creatures right now. All right. It's going to be 16 to hit. 16 will hit. Yeah. And... The pistol only does... 12. Yeah. <coughs> That's not bad. Yeah. 3, three d 6. Wait, what? 3d6 is what it says. So. Huh? I have laser pistols, not 3d6. Mm-hmm. Laser yeah. pistols, a d4. Oh. Um, do you have javelins or something? I thought that you changed up your ranged weapon. Because you don't... Laser pistol's a dex weapon. Oh. You're a strength fighter. Okay. Pause for math check. Okay, 
Boswell, Greg figures that yeah. out. No, Nick, who came up like that, so I don't... Game did you off. Well, did you take the, the javelins and not um, wield them? Wield. Because then you have to unwield the, the laser rifle we established. You couldn't have that. That's why it's probably still there. Uh, okay. So go to equipment. Hit um, manage equipment. Inventory. Or you can filter by type. And um, uncheck the things that you're not going to be holding. Okay. Which javelin? <laughs> javelin is the only other thing I did. Because I got rid of it since I can't use it. It's also possible that it could be that maybe you selected some item that wasn't one of my items. Because there are laser pistols and laser rifles that exist in the Dungeon Master's Guide, which may be in d d Beyond, which are not, in my opinion, um, balanced against the regular rules. Busted. Um, yeah, a little bit. So, so, <laughs> so I made up Busted. my, I made up my own. Totally dissed. Oh, thank you. All right. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't even know what that uh, was. I have no idea what John is doing. Oh, God. <laughs> I usually, I usually just ignore John. <laughs> um, so you got your the, javelins. The, yeah. The, the laser weapons in the Dungeon Master's Guide aren't meant to be balanced with the yeah. <laughs> with, we'll with, with uh, starting equipment. Yeah. Have, uh, yes. Chosen that, but. Yeah, so I think the javelins was what we said would be the... I think you get javelins or you get hand axes or something like that. Javelins. Yeah. So you want to huck a javelin at one of them, or do you well, want to wait ready with your I'm laser sword? I'm just sword? ready, because yeah. they don't do enough damage. Yeah, it's a laser sword. Mm-hmm. So you're readying for your laser sword? Yeah. Okay. So Matisse is readying a laser sword. Okay. Do you want to stay there or move up? Or... Uh, I'll move up a little bit. Up a little bit? Not today. Any closer than that, and you'll be in hitting range, so... Okay. Right. Well, and if she goes any closer, it'll disable my ability to swing at them unless they come in right between us, so... Which is which is going to happen anyway. There was, probably there was no avoiding that. Yeah, All right, John, fine. since since those guys are way at the other end of the map, uh, why don't you have the little one there this yep, one? move right up to whoever is up in the front there. Um, right there. Right there. So whoever is whoever that is, that, is that Matisse right there? Yes. Okay, take your swing with your laser sword. Diva so Paladin with a laser sword. We haven't protected our crunchies very well. It's 15 to hit. 15 Actually, to what hit. Much we can do about that? Uh, your laser sword um, just barely clips it on the side and deflects off of its hard surface. <laughs> what? What? Sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> As I was saying, you, you just deflect off the side of it and it doesn't seem to penetrate the, oh, okay. the other creature's hide. All right. I didn't think it was going to play because I had it on silent. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. All right. Uh, so you do the duration action. Uh, and, it's, and yours is a melee one as well? Yeah, okay. so we'll see if they come in next So that week. one's going to, it just stops there and attacks you, Greg. Uh, so let's see here. Okay. Matisse is being attacked. We're probably going to need to take more of a defensive formation if we have the chance. AC 22. That yeah, will hit. You take six piercing damage as its front claw, it's basically like a big spike. It jams it into your leg. You take Ouch. six piercing. That's a lot. Yeah. That was you. It was. You didn't <laughs> silence your phone. I better silence I can't play the music if I silence my phone. <laughs> <laughs> well, clearly, you, you actually can, can silence the ringer, usually. Um, okay. <laughs> so... Uh, the next one moves up there. This one? Uh, no, the, the the little one. This one? Nope, nope, nope. nope. This, this one? one? Yep. Okay. Five, ten. Yep. Okay. It's going to attack. Okay, so they're kind of stupid. Yes, they, they, they are not high intelligence. Uh, let's see here. She kept you next to me, I'm sorry. <laughs> So this one attacks Greg, or attacks Matisse. AC 20. That will hit. Eesh. For seven piercing. Eesh. Thanks. Are you bloodied? For the listeners, that's less than half your maximum hit points. I am. 
You are. You want to put a bloody marker on him, please? No. Use your blood. Okay. All right. So then uh, the big one that is closest to uh, the left side, my left side of the table. Yep. It's going to move through that little dude. Yep. Goes right there. And then. All right. So then then Arvini gets to make an attack. Okay. Oh, come on. And you're using a laser sword as well? Yeah. Uh, oh, sorry, no, you're using Wakazashi. a Wakazashi. Yeah. Wakazashi. Oh, which I need a dice. Dice are good. Wakabashi. Mm-hmm. All right, that's going to hit for AC uh, 25. 25 will hit with the Wakazashi. Um, and that is going to hit for... Five. Actually, yeah, I rolled that right. So five. You need letters on these guys. Piercing. Yes, we're going to put our uh, letter marker so that guy is going to be A. A B. So A takes five. A takes five. Is it bloody? Yes. Okay. Five. Uh, no, it is not bloody. Oh. Okay, so then it's uh, you slash it across the leg. You see some weird. Blue blood come out of it. Okay. Then it tries to attack you back. Okay. Give me an attack, and I'll attack you back. AC 16. That'll miss. Okay. So you move out of the way as the spike hits the floor in front of you. Uh, all right. So the rest of them are just going to kind of crowd around the doorway there. So I'll just kind of. Five, ten. Actually, one of those guys can make it through. If, if, if he does difficult one? terrain. Five. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Yeah, so, so send one of the little guys through there. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay, and then the rest of them are just, are just going to huddle up around the door there. It doesn't matter what order you put them in. Okay. So oh, that one get in. is going to uh, attack Arvine. AC 21. That will hit. For four piercing. Okay. Hit you in the foot with a spike. All right. Okay. Strax, our hobgoblin artificer, you are up. Go for flanking, man. Uh, (laughs) Yeah, but he's bloody. Can you do anything about being bloody? I can she do could. my heal myself. Yeah. You have lay on hands, Greg? Yeah. Okay. Because if, if you got something you can do about being yeah. bloody, then I am going to... Yeah. Forget the, stu- forget the stupid pistol. We're going we're gonna to glaive him. <laughs> to gonna glaive. Ask, ask him a question? Oh, we're we're going we're gonna to halberd him. <laughs> halberd that one in the middle. There's advantage. John, you roll out of the tray. Because they bounce. Oh so they're both 18 anyway. Uh, <laughs> nice. 18 plus 23. 23 will hit with the halberd. 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 For 13 damage. Max nice. damage. Jeez. 13 damage. Is this on A? No, on this guy. On the little dude? The little dude that I had advantage on. Okay. Could you put uh, a letter D on that little guy? He gets the D? Yeah, the I'm, D. I'm sorry, John, what was the damage? 13. 13. Oh, wait, just take him off the board. You split that thing nice in two. Nice and done. Oh, thank dead. goodness these things are cr- dead. crunchy. <laughs> He's dead, babe. He's dead. All right. He's dead. Dead, Jim. Dead. Uh, that is action. You said bonus action. I could activate the... Oh. Yes, you can. Okay. These guys are in a really nice cold right so, now. So, I shall do so. I'll say, hey, Hal, <laughs> looks like we have uh, rather... Nasty, shiny things in here that are attacking people. Probably want to keep people away for a moment until we get these cleaned up. Very interesting, Strax. Thank you. She's so calm. <laughs> <laughs> that's Hal for you. Okay, anything else? Um, I think that's all I've got to play with right now, so. Janie? <laughs> Gee! See? <laughs> I figured you would think of that. <laughs> you were just talking. You were just talking about it. I was like, to you. Ooh. ooh. <laughs> this couldn't be any more perfect. <laughs> uh, you actually want to move within striking range? Yeah. Oh, I for see. reasons. Oh, okay. Yep, I see reasons. <laughs> so I, I see reasons. Throw out my hands. 
with the thumbs touching, and a sheet of flame shoots forth. Burning hands. Burning hands. Uh, From dexterity a saving throw. Clash or sorcerer. Yeah, which should be all of them. Yep, she can hit them all with the cone, I think. Do we have yep. the templates? 15 foot. 15 foot? I, yep, I, I, I know the template. That is all of them. <laughs> Even the one Other on the. Other than one? I think the you one won't the f- get that one, right? Because doesn't it go this way? Hold on, I'm, I'm going to get yeah. the template out. <laughs> you have your choice. You can basically use the template however you want. There's two different ones, so. That's probably your best one. Other. All right. Wait, what? Uh, no, that's 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 the this is the corner template. Oh, that's where's, the corner. The, Never mind. That's the, uh, that's the line one. Forward template. There we go. So you can get all the this one on John's side. Okay, that's pretty sweet. Okay. Excellent. Nicely done, sorcerer. Okay. Dex saving throw for six of them, all but one of the big silver ones. Okay. All right. So this is, cool. this is the right there. So, so we'll start. We'll start there. Uh, deck save. Do you have the damage, Sarah? Not yet. So, yeah, okay. This is the one that doesn't get it. <laughs> nice! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> okay, so starting in the back row closest to you, John. Yep, here we go. Uh, what's the DC, Sarah? Uh, 13. Fail. Next one. Succeed. Next one, fail, succeed, succeed, succeed. Okay, so made it, made it, made it, made it, didn't, didn't. Yeah. Okay. 16. Whoa, whoa. Uh, 16. 16 or 8. 16 or 8. Yep. Or awesome. 8. So these two take 16. Mm-hmm. Uh, those two take 16, so the little one gets totally fried He's up. Toasted. And, toasted! and then we'll call that big guy B. Okay. Um, that guy took 16, right? The big he one? He did. Yep. That one is bloodied. B is bloodied. Okay. 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 Uh, and so A the, took 8. A took 8. A is bloodied. Okay. And then all the other little guys took 8. Okay, um, put C on the big guy that was not even in the okay. flame. So flame, he's yeah. not even damaged yet. Oops! Up okay. the sides of the face! <laughs> and then E, F, G, and H. Are they all bloody? Uh, oh, those are the ones that took eight. I'm oh, sorry, E, F, G. E. Are they bloody or not? With the eight damage? Yes. Okay. And G. Okay. Brought to you by the letter G. <laughs> Brought to you by the letter Fire. <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah. So, awesome. So our class star sorcerer. Feeling I, better. I can speak well. Yeah. <laughs> Plus all of them except for one with fire. <coughs> Kills one, bloodies a bunch of the other ones, and then makes a roll for a wild surge. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. No wild surge. No, no wild, wild surge. Uh, <laughs> one to four. Oh, we rolled a five. We're not doing 50% of this one. <laughs> no. That was like, only for the play test. Play test. <laughs> well, I, thought, I thought it was up to five, so I thought I no, saw five, and I was like, oh, shit. No, it was an eight. <laughs> Here we well, go. Okay, a good job, Janie. taking them all out. <laughs> and us. Nicely what? done. Oh, you want <laughs> He was signaling Carnage. for me to make a picture. Picture lady! After he yelled at me for having my phone out. For making noise. Your butt makes your noise butt. when it farts, which is a lot. That's a proud Janie moment right there. It is. I figured you want to document that. So, <laughs> okay, so we are back up. <laughs> we are back up to round two. <laughs> he has a whole playlist of sounds queued up, just so you know. Great, great. John is so going to die. Play with our computer. Not John's right? character. John is going to die. <laughs> I need another... So we are back up to round two. More. And we have... I'm going to get this whole down. Okay, thank you. A, E... I, O, U... G, B... Okay. And right. F, and they are all bloodied. All right, so Arvina is going to swing on A with a wakazashi. All right, Arvina, go for it. Critical. Thank God, because I rolled minimum damage. <laughs> Starting off with a minimum. 
Uh, you can't re- oh no, you can't. Yeah, that. no, not oh. this is not great. Really? Oh, jeez. <laughs> I rolled two ones. One. Okay, so that is gonna do six. Wow, double ones. <laughs> yeah, I know. Sneak eyes. Six on who? So six on A. Okay. Still standing. Yeah, you, uh, you, you slash it, and a whole bunch of that blue blood comes okay, out, but it's so still it's still moving. She's gonna yeah. s- swing up with the offhand. So are you doing Katana Wakazashi uh, now? Is that cocked? Or, or is it, okay, is it Katana Wakazashi? It's just Wakazashis because I don't have oh, to okay. wield her yet. I gotcha. can't, I have to use light weapons. Sure, sure, okay. Uh, so AC 15 to hit? 15 to hit. Bounces off the hide. Okay, um, so I am going to action surge. Action surge. Two, so I can do that. One single weapon. No, this, no, this is a different. Oh, it's this different. This one actually gets me a full. Well, actually, it only gets me one single weapon attack because the offhand attack Sorry, is a bonus action. But it's still. The, well, those action point and action surge was yeah. very easy to confuse. Yes, well. <laughs> but I've also got spaghetti ring. Okay. <laughs> it's like. It's whipping. You've got two <laughs> cups of coffee brain. <laughs> oh. Can I have those 15 foot cone tablets, sir? No. Shots of vodka. Could you be yes. That is AC less, so this is not my day. That dice might Who's be out of the way and you now. slash the floor? Yep. Precious. <laughs> All right, so boo, wasted well, attack. Uh, <laughs> yeah. All right, that's it for me. The only wasted attack is the one he didn't make. Matisse. I should probably try to heal myself, but. Uh, I I some, yeah, we need to thin numbers. People can get you on your feet if they have to. All right, so I'm you get knocked down. I'll get you back up again. Another laser don't, We'll never sword. let you let them keep yeah. you down. Laser sword attack. I don't have any heal yet. Make sure you really talk softly, but more loudly. Laser sword attack. There we go. Thank you. Matisse is very. Oh, another very one. Oh, that dice no. is going into dice. Jail. Is that the same die? You should not use that die. <laughs> The dice is, is fired for the night. You want an action point and make another? It sort of skitters and jumps up in the air, and you, your laser sword goes under it. <laughs> wow. Uh, your dice did the not dice like hate it. us what is this, today? What, is this an action point attack? Is that what's happening? Yeah. Okay. And so, it was a, he rolled a three on the die. So okay. it's an eight. So it's an eight? Okay, so again, it moves out of the way. You slash, slash. And it's, wow. This one's a little bit too dexterous for you, though. I'll turn around. It's boo. It's okay. You actually hear that laughter, Greg. Again. Oh, almost, almost as if mocking you. <laughs> he's being a jerky jerk tonight. He is. Did you feed him jerky? Because he's jerky. <laughs> All right. So the bad guys. <laughs> Let's see. Who is there? So, um, A. Let's see. We got the big guy, A. Uh, people in attack position are A, E, and F. Okay, so E and F are going to attack that individual who I think is... Matisse. This would be Matisse. Matisse, okay. So they're going to attack That's Matisse. Good. So attack number one. So, um... What are people's passives? Uh, okay, I got those there. Um, everybody make a perception check for me. Oh, boy. Oh, as, as I do this attack on Amatis. Okay. Mm-hmm. And if you get lower than your passive, just give me your passive. All right. 16. 16. 13. 13. 20. 20. Nice. 12. 12, okay. So, um, Matisse, you can see the way that they're fighting, that there seems to be something about the proximity of them being together that's making them um, have, have much more accuracy. So you get hit on AC 23 yeah. for five piercing. Still bloody. Oh, yeah. Still, you're still up. And then the other one attacks you. Oh, AC 12. That will miss. Shield. You put your shield in the way and that, and that, and that one big claw clangs off your shield. Okay. And then uh, A is going to. As big as the letter. Right, but but uh, again, you see, you see the way that they're uh, at least Matisse. You kind of recognize the way their pack tactics are working, and the, all those guys are around you. So that one's going to attack you as well. 
do I, I tell them? It looks like they're attacking. You, you, you can talk on your turn. You can get, you can get like ten words in on your turn according to the rules. Yeah, I mean, we notice that too. That they're just ganging oh. up on you. No. Yeah, but you don't know yeah. what the you oh, don't know what the advantage is it. because yeah. I had him yeah. I had him roll and he got the high roll. Yeah. Uh, so, AC thirteen. I will also miss. Okay, this time you move out of the way and it hits the and it hits the ground next to you. All right, so then it is Strax. Good lord. Strax. <laughs> uh. I don't have any healing yet, but we do have healing potions. We gotta kill that thing and step into the space so that they can't have as many around us anymore. Hmm. Right. You didn't perceive right. the pack tactic. Right. I'd mm-hmm. still, I mean, uh, blocking up the hallway is a pretty instinctive thing, but if you want to roll that that's meta or not, that's up to you guys. That's... You guys do whatever you want. I mean, yeah. you, you don't understand what the pack tactics is. Yeah. Greg, Matisse does, but you guys don't. Yeah. Okay. You do see all three of them yep. attack him. So you might want to move him because he's I being attacked. I, 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 also, I also see one guy standing right next to Janie. So he... Underst- no. Understood. So understood. he gets the halberd. <laughs> so Janie and Strax Janie are first. brother and sister. <laughs> even though they're different races, but we'll explain that later. Maybe. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Maybe. Some, uh, so I don't have advantage on this one. You guys but... are adoptive at some point. It's going to come up. Ah. Uh, <laughs> see... I gotta get a better try. This one's too low. Uh, I'm eight. Uh, you see, 13's probably not gonna do it. Man, we're nope. rolling crap. Oh. What's up to it? It's pincers and kind of blocks your halberd. Oh, halberd. oh Janie. Uh, <laughs> uh, have we got any bonus action to shenanigans? Um, I... Two out of three of my spell slots, though. Um, don't even know what's in here, But they're kicking the crap out of us. I do. I do. Like well, they're kicking the crap out of Matisse. <laughs> <laughs> um, if I could get in there, I'd rather. Hmm. No, I'm gonna do something a little out of character for Strax, but not much. Um, I'm going to ca- ca- bonus act, bonus action cast Sanctuary on poor Matisse, who is getting his ass handed to her. Is that sticky? I'm, I'm working on my genders, all right? <laughs> them. Them. They, them. <laughs> uh, so, do you want to call out a brief instruction so, as to how that works? Because otherwise, he yeah. won't know. Basically, I, so I reach into a pouch and I throw this weird little dust over you that just kind of glitters and shimmers and makes it kind of hard to mm-hmm. track you. Uh, basically, uh, in, with Sanctuary, uh, anybody who targets him must make a wisdom saving throw or choose a new target. Okay, and if they can't, they tax wasted, right? Correct. Okay. So, so again, do you mm-hmm. do you express this to Greg? Or sorry, to Matisse in some way? Nah, job's done. Let's just keep going. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Janie, <laughs> just it's too bad be grateful. Bad. I don't it's have too many of these. I can't be where Matisse is so I could cast Thunderclap. Um, True that. Yeah. Because that would hit everything within a five foot range of me, including my brother. <laughs> 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 um, I don't want to burn another spell slot. Mm. What? Uh, I was just making fun of Greg. His poor, okay. his dice rolls. Oh. His dice hate him. It's, um, you'll get your criticals. They'll come out again. It's Follies. I'm gonna reach out and touch the guy in front of me. Shocking, Shocking grasp. grasp. Oh, are they metal? Ooh. Right there, they're metallic. Right? Yeah, is that a advantage? 20? Good enough. Is Goodness. that advantage, advantage. because of what they're... Um, I think it's if they're wearing metal armor, it's yeah. an advantage. Yeah, yeah, they're not. AC twenty. Yes, that hits. Okay, four, seven. Seven, seven. lightning. Yeah, seven lightning. Okay. It, it's swinging that pincer around, trying to hit you, and you're like, you grab it, and you're like, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Which which letter was that? On A. On A. A is a? is seven lightning. So you grab a hold of that pincer and you electrocute it and it just falls to the ground dead. Yes. Nice. <laughs> you have a bad habit of grabbing weapons. Good work. Probably not a good thing. And 
while Serge rolls. <laughs> oh no. Okay, Good. now Serge. <laughs> <laughs> I do not wild surge. Okay. Kind of want to turn into a sheep again. <laughs> that might be helpful, actually. So we yeah. are at round three, top of the initiative order. We have four bloodied uh, enemies. They are uh, Krithix. And we have one of them that is not bloodied, that hasn't actually been hit at all. And we have one bloodied party member. Which is Matisse. Right. Which is Matisse, yes. So, top of round three, All right. we have Arvine, our ASMR fighter. All right. Uh, step up. Some, kick some ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, Matisse, you've seen me use this powder before, so I don't On know. If, I don't know if you've guessed at its effects, though. I've never actually stated what they were. Okay. I would probably have a somewhat good idea because of you'd, you'd know lived a bunch of you'd know it's defensive yeah, yeah I, I figured that that was what I would have to do times. yeah move through Janie uh, so what do I want to do uh, oh wait <laughs> shit. Okay. there's an effect of sanctuary that I could I always miss okay it ends if you make an attack <laughs> That's what I was trying to get at, John. Okay. No. <laughs> about you, about saying things to him so he doesn't break it. Oh. Oh. Like calling out, like, like, cause, like cause don't I attack didn't... your enemies. He's also one of our chief damage dealers. Yeah. Well, Janie That's, would yeah. clearly know how it works because he's used it on her before. Okay. So, so, if, if so I, if I, I could use action. my bonus action to tell him not to attack. Well, on your turn, you you, yeah, you can say that you yeah. did it. Okay. Okay. That's what because, I'm saying. Okay. Is like. If, if I had Rewinding, said, yeah. I just went. So Janie told him not to attack. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yep. If, if I had properly read my spells, oh, then I would have said something. Heard that. But I don't. <laughs> I am read the card, John. Yeah. <laughs> I was so like confused. It's like if you attack, you attack. break it. I'm like, John, you want to say anything to him? Nope. Oh. Like, okay. <laughs> but you hadn't read that part, apparently. So. Me. I missed yeah. it. Yeah. All right. Completely so, yeah. Me oh, John. All right. Me so I'm going to swing on E because he's right in front of me. All right. E uh, is bloodied, being attacked bloody? by a Wakazashi. Okay, that's going to hit for AC, let's see here, 22. 22 will hit. Um, and then that's going to hit for 7. 7. Okay, you slice a huge gash on that one and it falls dead. Nice. Okay. So then... Uh, we still have B, C, F, and G, right? Uh, we got F and G, man. B, C, F, and G. Okay. Right. So she's going to, without missing a beat, just swing back up at um, F. Okay. F! F, uh, you F. F. Yeah, right. We F. <laughs> what the F? Oh, again, that is going to be an AC 11. AC 11. So that is... Slashes off the high, but doesn't seem to, to take purchase. Miss. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Um, so I'm going to... If I step forward, I'm going to end up taking even more attacks, though. I'm gonna take it. No, I'm going to stay right there, because then mm -hmm. the, the most that can attack us at one time is two, rather than three. So uh, I will hold... Okay, so you're good? Yes. All right, Matisse, our diva paladin. So, so she attacks, to, does yeah. it also do it? So if you, I am going to cast Cure Runes on myself. Uh, so if the okay. one creature makes an attack, has a spell that affects an enemy or deals damage to another creature. So, yeah, you can do whatever you want to your... You can touch yourself all you like, and it's not going <laughs> to the spell. Yeah. Oh, you could also right. step out of the way. Yeah. I could do yeah. To, to back off the hate. Although <laughs> she'd provoke. Uh, but the sanctuary means that they'd have to make a... Uh... She knows there's a chance that the magic will protect her. Yeah. Right, it's, it's up to you if you want to take the risk. Yeah. I'm just going to yeah. do my... Now, one, one other thing of Paladin 101, you also have lay on hands and stuff, so you can save those slots for possible smites if you want to heal yourself via uh, other means. What's the recharge it's, on lay of hands? Yeah. Short rest? Long rest? It's a long rest. I think it's a long Paladin. Oh, eh, I forget. I can look. I'll look. Yeah. But it's we a also, long rest. Long yeah, rest we all have, have potions too, though. Yeah, true. Yeah. You can just cough them. You could, yeah. Do you want to use it. your potion lay on hands, or... or do you want to use um, twenty choices, a, a 20 spell choices. or a potion? What do you want to do, Greg? Mm, let's see. Oh, 
I will try the, the potion. <laughs> I can't even understand that. <laughs> Weird random noises are coming from John's annoying laptop because John is annoying. <laughs> Weird random noises are coming from your face because you're talking. That's true. Oh. <laughs> Ouch. Stop making fun of my brother. Spicy. I'm going to fart into the microphone again. <laughs> Please do. That was hilarious. Well, then you have to Saving sit in your own stick cloud again. Yeah, that was a terrible idea. <laughs> Love you, Greg. Sorry. What? being distracting. Oh. I'm sorry, Greg. What, 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 what was it that you are doing? I'm going to do the spell. Mm-hmm. A potion. potion? Yeah. Potion. Oh. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's only 2d4. Oh. Right? There's no healing potion that you have that is 40, 44. It's 2d4 plus 2. Yeah, just, just pick up two of those dice and just roll and just roll two of them. Five. Hello. Six. Seven. So seven. 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 So you drink a potion, you heal yourself, and... Uh, so bloody. Hold on. Holding on, holding. How did I get the wrong? Mm. Got the wrong item. Yep. Sorry, Greg. They they have the mass healing potions and stuff, so you probably just clicked the wrong button. All right. So he's still technically bloody. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. And your turn is over. Um, I think that's are you all I can. Move at all, or are you going to stay there? I'm going to stay there. Okay. I think. Okay. So then it is the Krothix turn. All right, so move uh, B up in there. Up in hair? Up in hair. There you go. Okay. And move his marker, please. No. He doesn't deserve a marker. Okay. So let's see. That one's going to attack. Uh, that is Arvine, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Arvine is being attacked. Arvine has the artful pose. Right. She's <laughs> taller than everyone because she's in the air. Yeah. AC 19. That will hit. Six piercing damage. Okay. Gets you right in the stomach. Ouch. Okay. And then the little one, was that F? Yep. In front of Matisse, goes for Matisse. It can't really attack me. Oh wait, it has to make it has to make. Uh, what, what, what's the wisdom save, John? Uh, the wisdom save is fourteen. Wisdom save fourteen. Here we go for wisdom save. Nineteen. Uh, I, he gets the, he he gets the target. Okay, making the attack. AC twenty-three. Jesus, me. you're rolling hot. <laughs> for four piercing. Oops. And those are the only guys that can get in there right now. So those other two guys will just uh, the uh, what is it C will file in behind F there, and then we will move on to Strax. Excellent, excellent. His reach, yay! Uh, <laughs> Halberd. Strax, yeah, Strax will hacks on F. Sure. See if we can knock out the All knock right. out the chunky one. Using a halberd on F, who is bloodied. He's which, gonna get the F and X. Which means he's at less than half of his hit points. And or it is at less than half of its hit points. <laughs> That's cocked, get to roll it again. It, it was up against the wall, but I couldn't tell if it was cocked or not. Sounds like it was cocked. No. Uh, yes, if it's not lying flat, it's cocked. Well, when is, when, it, when is that not was, how it works? Wait, it couldn't tell if it was lying flat or not. That's if you, have to, if you have to shake the tray, <laughs> it's cocked. <laughs> Fine, jeez. You just didn't want it to hit. <laughs> you just didn't want to roll on the tray. <laughs> <laughs> I, am, I am derping at dice tonight. Jeez. Okay. Not the still. Oh. Still good. 17. It's still 17 good. It's still hits. I don't know how I feel about John's technique. <laughs> Oh, I was thinking that too. <laughs> My brain went right there. <laughs> the uh, fat, fat price rolling, or, uh, Seven. Price rolling method. Aww. Seven damage. Seven. Seven on F. 
Love you, John. With his reachy halberd. You, you cut off three of that thing's legs and it falls dead. Nice. Wow. Good work. work. There we go, Strax. Yeah, you made a, a hole for me. <laughs> Whoa. I don't want to go there either. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> that, that's a Anything else, Strax? Uh, no, I don't do Janie. <laughs> Ah, oh, jeez, my boob just hit the microphone. <laughs> Stop hitting the microphone with your booby. I can't help it. Hey, what are you there. Running? There are huge tracks hey, of land. Careful. Huge tracks huh? of Be land. Be careful. Running up in the middle of the pack. In the middle of a bunch of them. Burning hands? Burning hands! Uh, Dex, saving throw. She can still get two of them. That's, I think. Actually, I'm wondering if she can get all three. In, if I do a cone, I think I can get all three. I think technically, uh, if she attacks from this corner, she get one. Where, Where? You took my tablets away. She can attack from any face. That's all right. I can't put it over myself. No. No. No, you can't. Now the other template. It's on the face, though. Mm-hmm. Is that allowed? Um, that's weird. This has never come up before. Because it's technically from a corner of a square she's on. Sure, I guess. <laughs> that's fine. We'll figure it out later. I don't, really, I, I don't really care to split hairs over right now. Burn an eight! All right. Um, <laughs> so dexterity saves. You said it was 16 or 13? or uh, 13. 13, okay. So, uh... CBG. So B, deck save on B. Succeeds. Deck save on G. Fails. And then on C. It finally takes a hit. Succeeds. Okay, so eight on the fail, four on the succeeds. Not well, the, the, little, the little guy took... The, so took G the gets burned up by your fire. <laughs> that monster's on fire! <laughs> fire! And then... And then... Those two take four. And oh. then... Uh, and then... Ah. Uh, no. <laughs> I do not wild surge. Okay, dokie. Okay. Is C uh, bloody? C is not bloodied. You only took four. Yeah, there. It's the question must be asked, and the question was answered. <laughs> I went five, ten, fifteen to get there, right? Um, five, ten, fifteen. Yes. So I can go back. You'll oh, take no, it, you'll and you'll get attacked by two okay. of them. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> okay, so we are at the top of round four. We have monster B is bloodied, monster C is not bloodied, and on the party side. Matisse, our diva paladin, is bloodied. Okay. So, Arvine, top right. of round four, SMR fighter, here we go. 5, 10, 15, 20. You'll take an opportunity. Uh, you will. Uh, oh, go over here. Dang. Oh, you'll take it there too. I'll take it there too. Oh, man. I would just take it. But. Mm, I hesitate because they hit so hard. That's it. Oh, man. Well, you could still go 5, 10, 15 and get behind one of them. So, so start get setting blanking. it up. Yeah. And I'll be opening myself up to multiple attacks, but yeah, that's probably... I'm going to make a normal attack and then I'll move after. All right. So Making an attack on B. On B. All right. All right. Monster B. B. Yep. Monster B, who is bloodied. Wakazashi. Okay, so AC... Darn it. AC 15 again. AC darn it. Clang yeah. off its hard uh, carapace. Um, it's man. hard. It's hard carapace. I hate. Okay, offhand again. Offhand again. That's right. How you doing over there, Matisse? I All right, that's going to be AC nineteen to hit. Nineteen what? And that's Yay. going to hit for. Uh, let's see here, six. Six slashing. Okay, you cut off one of its back legs, but it's still up. 
Uh, yeah. Man. Um, all right. Uh, let's go bigger. Go home now. We will do action point. Action point. 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 Single <laughs> weapon attack. attack. But but what if? Or a cantrip, or a bonus action spell, or move up to your speed for the listeners. But but what if you have a uh, John. Uh, a, stop, a stop. trait no. that no. lets you stop? No. Stop. <laughs> All right, that's gonna hit for AC um, twenty one. Twenty one will hit. And that's going to hit for five. Five. Okay, you slice off a bunch of the other legs, and this time it stops moving. Okay. Yeah. Thank goodness. Mm-hmm. All right, so now I wanna move out here and uh, basically try to set up flanking with whoever wants to stay there. Come one more, because then Matisse or here. Strax can get in there. Okay. Yeah, good idea. Whereas I'm not good in a really idea. good spot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no more pack tactics for my crew thicks. There's no more pack. All right, Matisse. A pack one. of one is still a pack. Singular Go flank that S.O.B. Yeah, really I may be hurting, but I need a paladin attack. With advantage. You're going to go in? Attacking? I'm going to kill the MF. He's going to attacking. Kill it hard. Kill it dead. Better than dead. Better. 17 to hit. 17. It does hit. And that's going to be for nine. Nine. This is on C. Nine. 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 Okay, so your laser sword bloodies C. Busty. (laughs) (laughs) What's your strength? Uh, 16. Okay. Anything else, Matisse? I'm going to move out of. Way. Probably step over that way. No. Oh. No? Yeah. yeah. You, oh. If you move right. Yeah, I guess that that lets somebody else get into flanking. Yeah. It's the Congo line, John. Okay. So that uh, critic, still smelling blood, will go after the bloodied diva paladin. Who oh. is no longer sanctuary, didn't it? Oh Just man. Pain. It's okay. Well. AC twenty four. Your attack mm. dissipated the oh. cloud of shiny stuff. Hit me. For seven piercing. Oh, I'm down. And you're down. Oh, no. Oh, no. Matisse is unconscious. The Diva Paladin. Okay, and then it is Strax, our Hobgoblin Artificer. Uh, Dreaming about. Finish it. I told you I didn't like this place. Uh, She did say that. She did say that. Okay. Time to halberd it. Halberd. First. AC 21. AC 21 will hit. For 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12. Yes. Okay, you, you, you slash its legs out from underneath it and then bring it around and chop it right on top of the head. And completely kill that guy. Very nice. All right. All right, and that is the last bad guy. So All we are right. out of combat. Out of combat. All right. Um, Jeannie runs over and shoves a healing potion down your throat. Healing potion probably is a better idea than a spell slot, so yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. I still have one, so I will use it yeah. on you. Okay. Do so I have sure. to roll that because I'm using it on him? You just yeah. have to show that you used it. If you click on it, I think it'll let you say use. That's not what I'm asking. No, oh. tra- traditionally, oh. the person who uses it rolls it, but yeah, it doesn't really matter much. Correct. Where is my healing potion? Potion of healing. I mean, he can't use it. He's unconscious. He can't roll. He can't roll dice. Yes, thank you, chicken lady. Oh. Oh. Well, it gets you on your. It'll get you on your feet. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna remove it because I've used it. Well, we're still alive, Hal. Right. Guess you're wondering. Why did it give me one extra? I'm glad to hear that, Strax. You're creepy. <laughs> I love it. I don't like that bitch. 
right, so. I've been so looking forward to role playing her. Right. Have we, have we, we? Have, have, is there anybody at this table who has not seen 2001 Space Odyssey? I've actually not seen the whole thing. I've, I've only ever seen thing, bits and pieces. Really? Yeah. Oh, man. I'm familiar with it. But yeah. okay. I, I would love to watch yeah. it again. I'm going to take care of everything. No spoilers, no spoilers. Dave. You're all dead, Dave. <laughs> yeah. All right, so you are in rough shape. Not as creepy if I was said that way. Um, <laughs> do you want to take somebody, like, like, two of us still have healing potions. Do we want to give them to Matisse instead of using other resources to heal her? Or you could sit and take a breather for an hour. We could hide out and take a rest. So where do we think would be secure, though? The room we were just in. Probably. Does that door actually close? I think I could probably reach it. I mean, it closes. Yeah. I mean, again, it's okay. kind of a yeah. uh, disheveled old wooden door, but it does yeah, close. Let's try to hide out Is and take a rest. More... Did I hear anything more when I was unconscious, or...? No, you were unconscious. <laughs> well, you know, no, like you might Could be have been dreams. dreaming. Uh, yeah. No, there was no dream. We both have connections to things in our dreams. So what now? Yeah. Dream state. Oh. Is, is this a character thing? Yeah. No, dream? well, my oh, okay. character has the dreams. His. No, mine is just. Dream. Oh, yes, he, yeah, he I know, yeah, I know what, yes, I know what you're talking about. Yes. Basically living, yes. yeah. Yeah, past life recollection kind yeah. of thing, yeah. And, yeah. and, yours are, and yours are vision things. Dreams, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Dreams okay. Vision, so. And I'm severed from dreams. You're what? Severed. Severed. From my dreams. The spirits. He does not dream. Oh, you're talking about I your race. I magical spells yeah. and effects that require me to dream like a dream spell. Aha. Uh-huh. But not to spells that affect, that, that put me to sleep. I understand. All right. Yeah. Lisa. Okay. So, yeah, we should hide out and take a rest. Yeah. Danny needs a little time to recover anyway. All right, so we close the door. I don't know what's going on in the ship, but something seems to be here that obviously means us harm. I make a nice little bonfire so that we can. Have okay, fire so about twenty minutes into your rest, uh, you can hear what you think are the sounds of more of the creatures moving about the ship. Hmm. And they seem to be getting closer to where you are. You can hear them skittering around. Okay. Again, Janie, you think that maybe they're moving through the ceiling. I think they're still above us, and I think there's more coming. So we probably need to have to move. burn anything more today. Okay, so... What's Real quick, burning? we aren't going to get to do other healing, so are we going to give her two heal- hit healing potions so that she can be a little less roughed up? Or do we want to hold them? You and I still have them. Uh, or do you want to use your other healing, Matisse? I know you have check some. Check my equipment here real quick. To restore yourself. And then we got to move. I could probably do the, the do my lay on hands. Okay. Which, do you need all of it? No, I'll just take half of it. Okay. Okay. Doesn't help me very much. You're still bloody, but... You're still bloody even after you take the... Yeah, he's at 11 right now. I was down... He was down to 6. I was at 4 and it... Right, but you used a healing potion. Seven. After that, right, but you used a healing I potion. I gave you a that. healing potion. Did you add that? Mm-hmm. So, that doesn't make sense. If you used half of your lay on hands, you you got ten points of or, oh, you only got five. Five. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I would say that you should use more because otherwise you're just going to get knocked unconscious again if we get in another fight. I mean, I mean, I will hand off my my. My healing right. potions. That's something. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I will. I will also hand you my healing potion in case you need it. He's only six down now. So you can put that in your. Yeah, put it in your inventory. inventory. Yeah. Okay, so where? John, is your bonfire still burning? It's a potion of healing. I can put it out at any time, but it's going to spend air though. I'm just asking you how long you're keeping it up. Janie hears the 
here's yeah, the, the, the creature moving around. Mm. So you should put it out. Well, yeah, put it right. out. Did you put it out? And he stomps yeah. it out. <laughs> okay. All right, so we need to move on. I like a good bonfire. Yeah, but if it's drawing the monsters to us, that's not good. We can't survive. I know that. She heard them approaching. Sure. Could be any reason for that. Right, but you don't want to be tactically foolish when we already got the crap kicked oh, out of us. It's a bonfire. Let's go. Let's... So you guys are? Are you leaving the room? Um. Yeah, I think we have to. Uh, you well, said they're approaching. I, I, the, what I'm getting from that is it here. sounds like if we yeah, wait it, it, there, it, it sounds like we're it's gonna getting, get attacked. It sounds like the noise so, is getting louder. Okay. So, uh, what do you think we should do? Do you want to go through this door or mm. this door? You want to just keep going to I'll, the right? Well, first, I'm going to step out. Head on out. Anything heading out of the room? Okay. You, you okay. open the door right. and you walk out. So we and, follow. Uh, okay. Everybody heads on out of the room. Same. Um... Janie, do you have any preference of what door we check next? Uh, um, I still say the closest door. Okay. So this one? Yep. Okay. I'll help you, or, or you help me check the door to make sure it's okay. Mm. I'm more concerned at this point of what might be behind the door, so I'm going, right. to, I'm going to perceptify the door. Well, I'm going to I'm gonna perceptify it. You're going to perceptify the help door. Me. All right. So, yeah. you, got, you can make one roll with, with advantage. That's fine. Okay. And that hey, is going to be AC, or, or sorry, not AC, but uh, 23. 23. Yeah. Uh, again, same standard sort of door that's all over the ship. Okay. All uh, right. Don't hear anything on the other side of it? Uh, nothing that stands out, no. Okay, so we open the door. So. Mm-hmm. On the big room. Okay, so so hold on one second. Um, so Arvine, so Arvine, you you open the door, and you see in that room you see villagers from your home village standing perfectly still, staring at you. Their mouths are moving slowly. You think they're mouthing the word Asimar over and over in perfect unison, but you do not hear their voices kind of shake my head and look straight ahead and say, does anybody else see something in this room because I'm seeing something? Um, what does the room look like? Otherwise. It basically looks like a, a cargo hold. I see does, a cargo hold. Does home. anybody else see people? Anything like no creatures, no nothing? No, Nobody uh, sees anything? Just place getting to you two. Is uh, your class coming back to haunt you two? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. I'm just, <laughs> but... Past fears. All right, well, so I kind of shake my head and try to look away and look back. Do I still see them? Are they still there? Uh, they're, they're they're still there. Okay. They're 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 staring at you and they're seem to be mouthing the word Asimar. All right, I kind of grip my teeth and step into the room anyway. Okay. It definitely has a familiar. It's a familiar scene to you, but a yeah. little more twisted. Mm. All right. Well, so they're still there. Well, okay. I don't see them, so I'm just going to step in and start checking out the room. Okay, hey, okay. um... So hold on just a minute here. Mm-hmm. Have you told Hal anything about this place making people see things? What? Three of you losing your nerve? Think I'm going to uh, actually have I report that to the captain? I don't think From so. how you talk to your sister, I don't think it sounds like it's that simple for any of us. Hmm. Okay. From how you talk to your sister, I don't think it's that simple for any of us. Okay, so... Matisse. Well, simple or not, how do you think it's going to actually sound to them? We live in a magical world. Do you really think it's that far-fetched? Yeah. Look at your not sister. Not. Do you really you think it's that far-fetched? Come into your head and say, I don't tell my secrets. I won't share yours. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I'm not saying So, that. Matisse, as the two of them are talking, you yeah. see them step into the room and... They're, they're 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 facing each other and and they're talking back and forth, and you. Um, where is it? You see, you see Balazar. Do you know who that is from your history? 
Mm-hmm. Okay. You see Balazar step out from behind some of the crates and walk up to Arvin, who has her back to him. And he pulls out uh, a laser rifle and he levels it off like right at the back of her head. And Matisse rushes towards... So Matisse suddenly rushes towards Arvine and does what? And tries to push... And you're shoving me to her the... out of the way, but he's shoving her. He's on the other side of her. So you're shoving me to the side? Basically? Yes. So I'm into the wall here now? Well, I... so are you, are you pulling her? Because pushing would be into the room. Are you just swinging me to the side to try to get me out of the way of the gun? Is that... Okay, it's so like it's hard to it. picture from how you described it wh- where Belazar was standing. That's why it's no, but but from where Greg's mini is. Yeah. If he if he tries to run in there and push you, you're coming in my direction. Right. If you run up there and you grab her and try to pull her away, um, then go ahead and make um, make a. Uh, I guess this would be like a grapple, so it would be a strength a- athletics check, okay. and I mean it's still opposed even though. You, you know, you're not. You don't really know what's going on. So, so do strength or athletics, Kate. I'd okay. say he could make it with advantage. Yeah, I would say that too. Yeah. So, 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 Kate, you make the normal. You, you make the normal roll, either ac- athletics or acrobatics. Acrobatics. And Greg, you do athletics with advantage. Powerful. Okay. Well, I rolled poop, so hopefully you're all good. <laughs> you rolled poop. I did. Why did you even bring poop to the table? I rolled a three. It looks like a butt. So it's a twenty. Twenty, and what'd you get? Um, even with acrobatics, it's a nine. <laughs> okay. So, so seeing, so seeing um, this this enemy of yours, of, of, of both of yours, really, you run up and you grab her, and you and you pull her out of the way, and Arvine, you don't know what's happening, but Matisse just yeah. runs up and 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 he seems desperate, and he pulls you away. So I kind of catch my footing and stumble back into the wall and go, "What did you just see?" He's here. I don't know how, but he's here. Do you think he... Who's he? Which he? Balsar. I kind of look at him and, like, I I look around the room. Do I see anything? Are are my villagers still there? Are they... It's... Yeah. Greg, in that moment that Matisse grabs her and throws her up against the wall, you, like, turn back, like, ready... Because he's he's right there. But when you turn back and you look, he's not there. Oh. I don't know what's going on this here. This is a ship of ghosts. This is a ship uh, of lies. This, this is what you was that what you were hearing before? Was yes, it the I same thing, so. same person? And Arvin, you look into the room now, and you don't see any of those people there anymore. I kind of sigh. Okay, so clearly this this something here knows how to pull from the darkest things in or, all of our past. Or. You all are just losing your mind because it's a strange, derelict ship and we just need to finish the job and go. Well, so, 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 re- so, which sounds a little bit more plausible to, to you guys. Weird, magical ghosties all over the place. If anybody's lost or their mind, your brother, it's you. You lost my mind for me. What? So, so right then, John. Mm-hmm. <laughs> From behind some crates, mm-hmm. Strax sees an 11-foot-tall, black-skinned Goliath. It is the Mighty One himself, the High Chieftain, Chief Deity of Hobgoblins. The High Chieftain scowls at you in disappointment. What are you growling at now? Are you just being... You're reckon weird. It looks like he weird. appears to be controlled by... Your somebody. God is so disappointed in you... You left. You didn't stay with the tribe. Let's let's just get to one. Brother has ghosts too. <laughs> How would this ship even know anything about us? Yeah, and I mean, when I say try to tell the main ship that there's something hallucinogenic going on here, I'm not saying that we tell them the demons from our past. I'm saying that we tell them that there's something that is making everybody see things that there's no way they should be seeing. 
and I, we wouldn't go into details. But what if they send people over here after us? I already, to, I already told them not to. Could it be uh, some of the rocks in the ship? Could that be what's know. causing it? I, we, we should the keep rocks. moving because we don't want those other monsters to close on us. So, all right. Um, I step further into the room and just kind of try to look around and see if there's anything of interest, any loot, any okay. hidden stuff, any... Mm-hmm. Uh, Did we get to try I kind of turn to Janie thing? and go, let's try to get out of here as quick as we can. Can you help me look around? Yeah. Oh. All right. Mm-hmm. I hope I'm being loud enough. So it's <laughs> then I kind of um, like tonight. nudge Matisse right. and go, Matisse, go, go see if you can help Strax to investigate. Okay. Give me. So you do see this very large okay. cargo room in front of you. It's full of crates. Okay. Give me another. Uh, give me another. Um, keep an eye on things for another couple minutes, guys. I'm going to ritual cast another detect magic while I'm, to, while I'm looking around. Okay. Okay. So, so, so I'm just going to so, settle with my. I don't know thing, get it back, my little okay. spyglass, get it back up and running Okay, start again. using your artificial tools again. Yeah. So, yeah. over the course of that ten minutes, the rest of you are um, investigating, investigating the room? Investigating the room. Janie and I are looking okay. around, and I'm perceptifying with her help. Okay. And then uh, Matisse, I think, is helping him to investigate in addition to no, whatever. he's casting a spell. Oh, okay. He's okay. casting a spell. So, yeah, I guess then Janie Matisse and I... Matisse is just standing by waiting I mean, for him to... I mean, do you want to look around while he's okay, doing so you're keeping, an, anyway? you're keeping an eye on him yes. while he does yeah. that. Okay. Okay. So then, what we can, you can do um, advantage? Um, are, are you just looking or are you touching? Um, Perception or investigation? <laughs> uh, I'm going to just look very carefully for now. Okay. I mean, I'm curious if there are any crates that are open. I will look inside of them, but I probably won't. there there are a couple. Okay, so I'll, yeah. I will look inside any crates that are open while I'm going around, and otherwise, I'm just. Looking very carefully for anything of interest, anything that looks like hidden doors. Any, okay, um, yeah, yeah. Some of them are are spoiled supplies, and some okay. of them are you know linens and beddings and things like that. Okay. Um, but there is a large. Um, the, there there are a few of the crates that are open, that seem to have more treasure in them. Okay. More more gold pieces, more gems. I kind of call over quietly, like the the loud whisper to Strax, and hey, say, hey, Strax, we've got more stuff here. To- well, he's he's busy yeah, casting yeah. a spell okay. for ten minutes. Okay. Well, mm-hmm. I make I make a mental note to tell Strax that he needs to pack up the treasure. So, uh, okay. All right. Is so so you find another door. Uh, well, well, I mean, I mean, you find the door over there that you think goes to the hallway that you okay. were just in, and then there's another another door down at the other door end of the room. Here. Okay. Yep. All right. That is the end of Salvage Mission Part 1. Our next episode will be Salvage Mission Part 2. If you enjoyed this podcast, please leave us a review anywhere this podcast can be found. Our social media links, plus additional content, can be found on our website at knightsofroleplay.com. Please tell your friends about Knights of Roleplay, and adventuring podcast, and spread the word through social media. Your help and support are greatly appreciated. <laughs>